Okay, let's see this question. The given condition is A equals to these three terms. So I have cubic root of four and cubic root of two, then cubic root of one. And of course, this one we know is just one. Right? Cubic root of two, and then what is the relationship between cubic root of four and cubic root of two? This is cubic root of two squared. So this looks like if we call B equals to cubic root of two, and we see this one is B squared plus B plus one. <clears throat> Maybe we want to do this. We want to multiply by B minus one on both sides. Right. And B is cubic root of two minus one on both sides. Then remember the formula of difference of two cubes. So we get the B cube minus one. Well, B is cubic root of two. So cube and the cubic root cancel each other. So we get the two minus one. So we get a one. So a times cubic root of two minus one equals one. Then A equals one over cubic root of two minus one. All right, so we get a, we simplify the A into this form. Now let's observe this. So we need to find three divided by A, three divided by A squared plus one divided by A cubed. <clears throat> we want to evaluate this expression. So we observe this one can be written as three times one over a, and then plus three times one over a squared plus one over a cube. So one over eight. So out of this, we can get a one over eight. So one over a, that's just a cubic root of two minus one. But still, if we want to plug in cubic root of two minus one for square, it's okay. And this cube, it's just still a lot of calculation. Maybe we want to simplify this expression. All right, so this is the idea of, us, of evaluating this expression. All right, let me resolve this. <clears throat> so first, yeah. Uh, we have this 1 over a equals a cubic root of 2 minus 1. Now we want to simplify this expression. 3 over a plus 3 over a squared plus 1 over a cube. And simplify to be 3a squared plus 3a plus 1 divided by a cube. <clears throat> now again, we want to form, we want to create, we want to create cube or sum of two cubes. So let's see this one. 3a squared plus 3a plus 1. If we add a cube for this, of course, if we add, we have to subtract at the same time because we can only add a 0. And these four terms give us a sum of two cubes of a and a 1. So that would be a plus 1 cube, then minus a cube. Right, so that's what we have here. So we add a cube, we subtract a cube, and those four terms give us a plus one cube. Then we simplify, right? So those two divide to be a plus one divided by a cube. Then these two simplify to be just a negative one. Erase uh, everything, move down. So we have this. So a plus one cube divided by a cube can be written as a plus one divided by a then cube. Well, a divided by a, that's one. Well, one plus one over a. So simplify to be this. One plus one over a cube, then minus one. <clears throat> now we want to plug in one over a. Remember one over a is cubic root of two minus one. We have plus one minus one simplified to be zero. 
Now it's much easier, right? QB root of two, then raised by three. Well, those two just cancel each other because three over three equals one. That's two raised by one. Two raised by one minus one is one. So the original expression, three over a plus three over a squared plus one over a cube, by the, the given condition in the n, just equals to one.